Hello, my name is Perro Matic, and in this tutorial we are going to discuss how to adjust the privacy settings of our MySpace profile. Next, let's discuss how to adjust privacy settings related to our MySpace profile. Many of the privacy settings can be found by clicking on the My Account button near the top right hand corner of the screen. MySpace loves their synonyms, and you'll notice that clicking on the My Account button, in fact, opens up the Account Settings page. By default, it opens up with the Contact Info section ready for editing. Notice the menu bar containing links to various sections of our MySpace account. By clicking on these sections, we can edit set settings related to our MySpace account. This page, as the name implies, allows us to edit sections relevant to our contact information. Moving on, let's navigate over to the account section by selecting account from the menu bar. The most important setting we would like to point out on this page is the link at the bottom allowing you to cancel your account. Should you wish to cancel your account, this is the page you would navigate to in order to perform this operation. Next, let's explore the password section by clicking the password link on the menu bar. This page serves for one purpose and one purpose only, to allow you to change your password should you wish to do so. Next, let's click on the privacy link. We're going to come back to this section shortly as it merits much further explanation. Let's skip over to the section on spam settings. This page allows us to control spam settings. Automated computer programs exist such as Friend Blaster Pro that will automatically initiate friend requests, add automated comments to our profile, as well as send automated messages. The best way to prevent this from happening is to enable capture controls whenever anyone attempts to send us a message. Hover over the question mark next to the word CAPTCHA and it will provide you with more information on what it is. So we will select the checkbox to require CAPTCHA whenever non-friends attempt to send us messages. We highly recommend as a security precaution you check the box to require non-friends to enter your last name or email address whenever they attempt to add you as a friend. We have elected not to since this is a company profile and not a personal one. However, we will require CAPTCHA. In the comments area, we will check all three boxes. We will, we will require approval before comments are posted. This is great in order to make sure no one is posting anything derogatory and that you are policing what others are posting on your profile. Also, we will require CAPTCHA in order to add comments and only allow friends to add comments to our blogs. We'll leave event invitations alone. Only our friends will be allowed to send us event invitations. And we will uncheck the box to allow anyone to send us IM invitations. To make these changes stick, we will click on Save All Changes and notice our spam settings have been updated. Next, let's click on the Notifications tab. This page allows us to specify for which events we will receive email notifications. Simply check a box to elect to receive a notification for that event and uncheck a box to elect not to receive notifications for that event. Next, let's click on the Applications link. This page allows us to specify privacy settings for applications we have installed. We will not comment any further about this in this tutorial. Navigating to the Link Sites section shows us third-party sites we have linked to our account. Currently, we do not have any. Next, let's navigate to the Mobile Settings section. From here, we can register our mobile's phone to receive alerts and upload photos. We encourage you to explore this option on your own. Moving on, the calendar section allows you to specify calendar related settings. We're going to skip over this section as well in this tutorial. Next, let's move on to the miscellaneous section. Some of the miscellaneous settings we can specify on this page include specifying whether or not we would like to allow HTML comments when users post to our profile, photo, or blog section. 
When we add a music player to our profile, we can also specify whether to auto start the player from here. Moving on to the add categories section. MySpace makes us money through advertisements. As such, they added this little treat to target users with ads more specific to their interests. It allows you to specify which ads you would like to see more of. Let's now go back and investigate the privacy settings section. In profile 2.0, privacy is set on a per module basis. We will explore this momentarily, but first, let's take a closer look at the general privacy settings. We can specify whether to show others when we are online, whether to show our friends when our birthday is, whether to allow users to share slash email our photos. You may consider unchecking this box. You can elect to block users under the age of 18. However, parents with children under the age of 18 who wish to add their child as a friend will need to keep this box checked. We can also block users on an individual basis by clicking block user on their profile. To make these changes stick, we need to click on the save all changes button. Next, let's investigate how to specify our privacy settings even further. Hover over the profile button and click on customize my profile. We have already discussed appearance and themes in an earlier tutorial, so we will not touch on those now. What we will discuss is how to adjust privacy settings for modules. The individual sections below with a blue bar are all examples of a module. For instance, basic information, music player, and interests are all examples of a module. Modules can also be added or removed by clicking the modules button in the top left hand corner of the screen. Notice all the modules with a smiley face have been added below and the ones that do not have a smiley face are not in the preview window below. We can move modules around by hovering the mouse over them until we get the crosshair cursor and then dragging them to where we want. Let's experiment by moving the calendar control. We'll hover over it and drag it to where we would like. We can also remove a module by clicking on the X. Notice in the modules menu near the top of the screen, when we click X on the calendar control, the smiley face will, re will be removed, indicating that it is not displayed in the preview window. And remove the details module by clicking on the X.